coming up on Torrance today. We're just hours away from the city's 4th of July fireworks show. We've got all the details on how you can score a front row seat. Remember, all other kinds of fireworks are illegal in Torrance and can lead to hefty fines. Plus, meet a patriotic resident who charms us with a song and a story, possibly for the final time. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Christine Lee. It's 4 p.m. on Tuesday, July 4th. Happy Independence Day, and thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. Hopefully, you're at home today getting some rest from school or work. Meanwhile, we here at the Civic Center are preparing a beautiful fireworks show just for you. Come on out to see it in person. The show begins at 9 p.m., but you can get here as early as 7. Viewing locations are on a first-come, first-served basis. They are at the LA Galaxy Sports Complex and the west parking lot of the LA County Courthouse at 555 and 825 Maple Avenue. Street closures in the area begin around 8 p.m., so make sure to plan accordingly. You can also watch our fireworks show from the comfort of your home. Just tune into City Cable log on to the city's Facebook and YouTube pages or go to torrentca.gov and click on watch City Cable Live. Firefighters and police officers remind everyone that all other types of fireworks are illegal. That includes everything labeled as safe and sane too. Violators can face up to a $1,000 fine or six months in jail. Officials say if you see something, say something. Report the use of illegal fireworks to the Torrance Police Department's non-emergency line at 310-328-3456. One of the most patriotic Torrance residents I met so far is a World War II veteran named Leon Silverman. He visits us every year to record some tunes for Veterans Day, but this year he's here earlier than usual. City Cable's Kim Edwards has the story. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. Every year, Leon Silverman comes to City Cable to sing his favorite World War II songs and tell their stories. The last song was written by Irving Berlin while he was a doughboy during World War I. But the 95-year-old is visiting early this year because he says his health is declining and he wanted to make sure he got in at least one more year of honoring fellow veterans in this priceless way. I would like my legacy to be that people could say I was a good American. Silverman's songs have been featured as a part of City Cable's virtual salute to our veterans in November. I feel that the co commemoration of the holidays and the feeling of patriotism has waned quite a bit in the country. But I think Torrance is probably much, much better than any of the other cities I've been in. Thanks to his proactive actions, we're getting to hear some of his songs a little bit early, just in time for the 4th of July. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Home. I'm Kim Edwards with Torrance City Cable. Thank you, Kim. You can see and hear more from Mr. Silverman when our Veterans Appreciation video premieres in November. LAX expects a record number of travelers this holiday weekend. <laughs> 
About 3 million passengers are expected to pass through its nine terminals. I was one of them experiencing a 14-hour travel day on Friday, which began at the LaGuardia Airport in New York at 6 a.m. L.A. time. I spent a lot of time at that beautifully renovated airport because airlines asked passengers to come early. There were also a lot of delays, some due to staffing issues and others that were weather related. My flight was one of those that got delayed, but eventually I got home around 8 p.m. So if you are planning to fly to or from home today, make sure to give yourself extra time, have your phones fully charged, and bring a book or a game that can help you pass the time. Another place that is packed is our local beach. Here's a look at Torrance Beach on Sunday. I haven't seen this many people here in a while. The fog didn't keep these families and friends from enjoying a picnic by the water. Most of the beaches along our coastline look great today, but the LA County Department of Public Health reports high levels of bacteria at the following spots. Officials say if you're planning to visit Mother's Beach in Marina del Rey or the Inner Cabrillo Beach in San Pedro, avoid the entire swimming area. And if you're going to Santa Monica Pier, stay out of the water 100 yards up and down the coast. Wherever you're heading, remember to do it safely. The Torrance Police Department has increased patrols looking for drunk and impaired drivers. 44 people lost their lives in California on this day last year. It is a sobering reminder to have a designated driver if you plan to drink or just stay home. Driving under the influence includes marijuana, prescription drugs, and over-the-counter medications. If you are on the road and see someone driving recklessly, please call 911 immediately. Torrance Transit offers you a safe way to get around. Just a reminder though that today's schedule is a bit different. The buses will operate on a Sunday service schedule since it's a holiday. To find your route, go to transit.torrentca.gov. And here's one more reminder about a couple of siren tests taking place this week. The first one is tomorrow by the Torrance Refining Company. You'll hear this sound around 11.30 a.m. One minute all clear chimes will follow a two minute siren tone. Then on Thursday, July 6, the city will test its Torrance Now sirens at 10 a.m. The tone will be followed by an announcement saying that this is only a test and it will end with a series of all clear chimes. Torrance now includes eight sirens strategically placed throughout the city. Again, this will take place on Thursday at 10 a.m. So just remember, it's only a test. Still ahead, it's Torrance Tuesday and we introduce you to a Torrance teen who shares his thoughtful letter to our veterans reminding us about the importance of maintaining our country's freedom. We'll be back in 60 seconds. <gasps> ah! Look at you. Oh. Hi there. We're naked. How long did it take you to do your makeup? I'm Tyler Haynes. I'm Mamie Paris. And I'm Zachary Downer. And we're members of the cast of Cats on Broadway. Each year, between six and eight million cats and dogs will enter shelters and rescue groups, but only half will be adopted. That leaves millions of healthy and treatable pets who still need homes. Only 45% of cats and 36% of dogs in American homes come from shelters or rescue groups, which are full of wonderful family-friendly pets. Whether you're looking for a quiet companion to relax with at the end of the day or a furry friend who's outgoing and ready to take center stage, there's a shelter pet out there who's perfect for you. Visit the shelterpetproject.org to find adorable, adoptable, curious cats and dogs near you today. Adopt a shelter or rescue pet today. At the end of every episode of Torrance today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Torrance Tuesday, meet a high school student who reminds us about the sweet taste of freedom. City Cable's Kim Edwards has a story.
This next school year, uh, I'll be on the school newspaper, so I want to continue writing. Writing is Joshua Lee's passion. At 16 years old, he's already being noticed after winning a Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce essay contest. Dear veteran of the United States Armed Forces, I'm privileged to take this opportunity to acknowledge your service as it has directly impacted so many lives, including mine. The contest drew nearly 100 entries from high schoolers across Torrance Unified School District. In his entry, this junior from West High shares a very personal story about his grandparents during the Korean War. They were teenagers during that time, and when they would tell me stories, they always expressed a lot of gratitude towards the veterans that served during the war, and I wanted to include that as my whole family being very grateful. The Chamber of Commerce invited Joshua to read his letter at its Celebrate Education luncheon, sharing it with an audience that included Torrance Unified School District Superintendent Dr. Tim Stowe and West High School Principal Jenna Murata. I was incredibly proud. Our, our school's vision is to be a school that empowers every student to be a warrior with creativity, character, and resilience. And I believe that Joshua's letter exemplified those traits. Happy and proud, I don't think those words really cut it. We're just, we're just amazed <laughs> at, uh, you know, his accomplishment, what he did, how he did it. You know, we weren't really expecting all of this, so I guess we're <laughs> over the moon right now. Joshua's parents are still feeling a lot of emotions, especially gratitude and thankfulness. We're just really grateful that maybe his story and his letter will have a wider audience. Veterans like you all faithfully executed your duty to this country to protect me, my family, my friends, your friends, your families, and millions of others that will never know you around the world. While we may not know you, I want to personally salute you. Gratefully, Joshua Chung Hyun Lee. May this young writer's words continue to have a positive impact. I'm Kim Edwards with Torrance City Cable. Congratulations, Joshua, and thank you to the Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce for having this essay contest. The letters are given to a veteran organization for distribution. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrentstoday at torrentca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good day.